Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here in Colombia, in Dora del Puerto Triunfo. We're here today because we're going to Hacienda Napoles, where Escobar built his very famous zoo, now turned theme park. Dora del in Puerto Triunfo is the closest town to Hacienda Napoles, a perfect location for Mike and I to also visit the wild hippos. Video linked above. This town has such a great community feel. There are bars, sports, street vendors, and of course, the wonderfully painted animals. That morning, we located a tuk-tuk right in the center and paid 15,000 Colombian pesos for a five minute journey to Hacienda Napoles. So we've arrived at Hacienda Napoles. We just got a tuk-tuk, our first tuk-tuk experience here. Five minute journey, it's costing us 15,000. So we're gonna get back in the tuk-tuk and go and buy our tickets because we haven't bought them yet. To get to the entrance of Hacienda Napoles, you actually drive through quite a bit of landmass to get there. So you're going to notice some very bumpy roads. Actually, we had the advantage of being in the motocaro because it meant we got to kind of overtake all the cars. And then you get to see some really cool statues and monuments on the way in. Ticket prices vary depending on the amount of attractions you want to see. You can do single visit and up to three consecutive days. Me and Mike decided to do the Safari Plus for 143,000 COP each and this meant we could see everything and do multiple visits. So we've just gotten our tickets and our wristband. It took ages to find the entrance. We find the entrance and they say you need transport. The park is so big you can't walk. So we've just called a tuk tuk to come and take us inside. Hola, gracias. Yes. Hacienda Napoles is a luxurious estate that was built by Pablo Escobar for his children and their love of animals. After his death in 1993, the Colombian government actually seized the land but had to sell some of the animals to international zoos due to the large running costs. Currently the land is 7.7 .7 square miles or 20 kilometers and houses an open safari as well as a newly renovated water park. Back in its heyday, the ranch actually boasted a private airport, a bull ring, and even a kart racing track. It was quite the place to be. When we first arrived at the park, we assumed that we could leisurely walk around and see the animals, but this wasn't the case as it is genuinely a safari across a very large landmass. So after you enter, once you buy your tickets, you are able to then hire a tour driver in a tuk-tuk to take you around. Make sure to negotiate the price first, however, as this is probably the most costly part of the trip. Okay, so reporting to you from inside the leopard cave, it is a beautiful leopard sleeping in the shade. They just look so like squishy and comfy. I really want a pet one. Like I know obviously they're dangerous, but they just look so cute. We then return to town for a quick pit stop for lunch before going back to Hacienda Napoles with our swimming costumes ready for the second part of our day. Located behind the original entrance, the entrance with the plane on top, there is actually a memorial museum. There's mementos all about Escobar's life, including articles from when he was on the run, pictures of him being murdered, pictures of him giving a cigarette to an emu. All the behind the scenes type photos are kept here and it's so interesting to see. So we finished our lunch break, now we're going to find Vanessa the Hippo who lives on the site. The panic even answers to her name and hopefully we get to get some good pics. Vanessa, also known as Vanessa, <laughs> the only tame hippo left in Hacienda Napoles, is available to view by visitors. As you can see, she is friendly and likes to be stroked. I do feel like when we went though, she did kind of look, you know, she had some sadness in her eyes. I think she's aware of the fact that she is in fact captured, but it doesn't stop her coming up and eating some dried leaves with some spectators. We were really lucky because actually at this point in the day, she did come to hang out, but it was a really cool experience to see the anatomy of a hippo really close. I mean, how do these things exist? It baffles me. After all was said and done, and we saw all the things that we wanted to see in the park, me and Mike were so ready to hit up the water park section. I'm such a big kid, I absolutely love playing in the water. It's when I'm my most alive. So please enjoy this compilation of us just having fun, living our best lives, being children in this water park, and just embracing the day.
Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you found it fun, interesting and exciting and piques your interest to come and explore Colombia. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button, the thumbs up and to leave me a comment down below. Plenty more travel videos coming your way and I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye guys. Thank you.